Hello, my name is Barter, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, and thank you for joining us. Last time, guys, we had found uh, someone who looked like Edgar, but he kept calling himself Gerard or some crap. So we're following him back all the way to Figaro to find out what the hell is going on here. And, well, we met Siegfried, who was standing outside the cave and told us not to move forward and to wait here patiently, which, of course, we're not going to do. So we're going to finally grab all these treasures that we left here a long ass time ago. We're finally also going to grab because by now we can use them all basically. They're all been upgraded. Now that we're in the world of ruin, uh, we can just grab them and that's pretty much as good as they're going to get at this point. I was going to make sure to try to kill as much as possible to upgrade our bestiary. Not that it really matters all that much to me. But yeah, basically we're just going to try to make our South Figaro and find out what the hell's going on with um with Edgar, I guess. I guess he just had a, he's lost his mind. He's like, I just want to be somebody else today. Hey, we can't go that way. Ball sacks. Dante. Who the hell is Dante? Die, Dante. Dante don't take too much damage, this man. Whoa. All right, let's try uh, this one. Let's try to Razor Gale will hopefully do some more damage. Ah, he's not that tough. Only about 2,000 points of health. <clears throat> and we'll basically continue heading along through here, collecting as much treasure as we can possibly find. Um, I don't remember exactly where all the treasures are, I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm just going to kind of wing it. But otherwise, yeah. We should be able to find most of them, I think. We're razor Gale, these guys. That thing on the top left there looks like a giant distorted. Looks like it's from Akira. It looks like a some sort of strange penis monster. I don't know what the hell it is. It does look weird, you have to admit, though. So yeah, let's go through here. Celeste learned something. What did she learn? What did Celeste learn? Celeste, what one do you have on right now? You just learned probably banish fat guess. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna keep her equipped with Fenrir right there because it's just giving her massive amounts of uh, stat points every time she levels up. We've got two pathways, the stairs or the hole. Huh. Let's go with that one. And we'll go ahead and, um, I think we'll just take the, the exit to the north here. When all else fails, Raging Fist still kicks some serious ass, I have to say. I think this is the right way. Oh, totally is. Which means we should go back the other way and uh, go see if there's any treasure in that hole. Alright, what now? Here, boy, here's some yummy food for a good little turtle. What the hell? I always wondered why that turtle was there. How about that, eh? Nice. Used to have me a pet turtle. Wow, that's pretty cool. I guess Siegfried's following them. Why? I don't know. Oh wait, we don't want to go this way. I think this is... Let's run away really quick. Hold on. We'll go ahead and kill him really quick. Hold on. I don't think we want to go this way though. I think we want to go... I don't know where this path leads to. That's a good question. Did I go this way before? No, I did not. Okay, so this leads to a treasure chest. A hero's ring. That's super nice actually. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have all the uh, relics equipped for them, so. Alright, let's go ahead and um, follow Edgar and his troop of bandits and get into uh, South Figaro here and find out what the hell's going on with him. Yeah. I love saving, man. He's so ridiculously powerful in this game. Alright, let's go ahead and follow him. Okay, so all we gotta do is... Well, wait, what the heck? Like, come here, you turtle. There we go. Alright. Empty treasure chests, alright. I want the treasure! Okay, I'm guessing this is some sort of a, a sandworm tunnel that we're looking at here. Oh, that's not good. Let's go with Razor Gale. Hopefully it'll kill 
hits one of them at least. Oh no, but it only hit one of them. Derp! Derp! Damn it! Alright, just focus on physical attacks. Very nice. Alright. I have to say, these things are dropping a butt ton of gill, as it were. There's definitely an exit right here, obviously. Uh, here we are, we've made it to, uh... It looks like Figaro. So let's go ahead and cure, uh... Up, um, Celeste here, and find out what's going on. Are you still with us? Just hold on a bit longer, okay? Can't breathe. All right, so I guess everyone basically. Oh, so they escaped from the jails, like they said they did. I guess that's how they got out. Can't breathe. All right, so I guess we really have only one path we can really head down towards, even. Which is <laughs> this man is still standing here for God's sakes. This was that place we couldn't go to before. Apparently, it was too dangerous for us to head down. If you remember correctly, apparently it's also infested with monsters now. Humpty! Oh, it's those things we were fighting before. Okay, well, that shouldn't be a big deal. Is These things should drop, pretty much drop in a shot. God, they're so disgusting. They're like big boobs and fat stomachs. <laughs> Horrific sprites. Mmm, sprite. Okay. Can't breathe! I'm getting the impression they can't breathe. I don't know why. Okay, we got several doorways here, several treasure chests. I'm gonna go ahead and take them all. Um, more of the same old enemies. Okay, so haven't these guys learned yet? They're really not that tough to kill. Man, they are persistent though. I'll say that much. <clears throat> Hopefully after this we'll get Edgar back and have a third freaking party member. And then finally get four and have them all back. Gravity Rod and a Crystal Helmet. Very nice. High Ether and a... or Ether, whatever you want to pronounce it. Well, we came out of that door, so I feel like we should go through this door, because the middle one's probably going to lead us forward. And this one leads us to... Twajal? Oh, it did! I was right! Royal Crown! Good call on my part. It just seemed to make sense. The Royal Crown could be worn by those of royal blood. Interesting. Could anyone even wear that right now? Oh, well, I suppose... Saban could wear it. Alright. What does that do for you, my friend? Holy crap! That's super sweet! We got the Royal Crown of Figaro there. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so let's we'll head back down around now and underneath and through the middle door and that should take us to probably a boss if I had to guess. Uh, we're going to just want to do that because these guys are going to take a, two shots to kill, unfortunately. I really don't like these guys. They're kind of annoying. And kill him. Punch him. Punch him in the face. Well done. Save and gained level. Very nice. Alright, I'm thinking we're going to probably fight a giant sandworm. That's what they said was down here. And I'm willing to bet that's what we're going to fight. And that's probably what's clogging the ship from being fixed up. There he is, Gerard. So this is the problem. God's tentacles all tangled up in the engine. Boss, what should we do? Our treasure's in the storeroom back there. I'll keep this thing busy. You guys go get the treasure. But boss, that's awfully dangerous. Just get moving! Edgar! Oh, he stopped. What are you standing around for, Celeste? Give me a hand. Edgar, it is you. And boss battle, if I had to guess. Ew. Okay, we got him back. He doesn't really have any of this crap, though. It's okay because you can chainsaw the crap out of stuff. This looks kind of gross. 
Wow, these tentacles are tough. All right, let's go with another chainsaw again. Let's just take them down one at a time, if need be. You keep doing what you do best. That tentacle should be dead, yeah. That's what I thought. <clears throat> Nothing we can't handle. Uh, let's go ahead and take that back one out over there. We got bioed. That's not good. We're going to want to heal him quick. You go ahead and just keep blitzing. Eventually his blitzes will just blow through them all. You can't instant kill a boss, dummy. Okay, good news is Edgar has some buttload of health. So he should be able to, um... Resist. Okay, another Razor Gale. I might want, I might want to try, try on fire. I didn't think about that, but whatever. It's not like they're posing that much trouble to us anyways. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure in the next attack here, they're gonna die. Glad he has a chainsaw though. Oh, for God's sakes, really? Oh no! He healed it! You douche! Hold on, uh, let's go ahead and... Stop screwing around, martyr! That should be it. That should kill it. Or not. Now are you dead? Oh my god. Now are you dead? There you go. Alright. Hopefully that fixes the engines, too. Acting like you didn't know me. I heard figure I'd run into some kind of trouble. I wanted to help, but now how was I supposed to get here with the castle stuck beneath the sand? Then I caught wind of the rumor that those guys had escaped from the dungeon. So you used them. Bingo, and obviously I couldn't let them find out I was the King of Figaro. Because they just escaped from your own jail. You could have told us. Uh-oh, we better hide. You better hide. Are we going to take out our own bandits right now? B boss boss Monster must have gotten him. Poor boss, Steven lasts as long as the last boss. Oh well, let's go. What about the treasure? You don't care if they take that treasure? They couldn't care less about the treasure. What we need to worry about is Kefka. Those guys haven't done anything wrong, not really. So you'll come along? Let's go shake things up again! Is he gonna be brown haired this entire time now? So is that like his permanent look now? Alright, we gotta make sure we cure him up really quick. Um, also we wanna make sure we equip him with the newest Stuff. Oh, it did, did equip him with some new stuff. Nice. Right, so what was up in here? I want to know. There's a lot of treasure in there. Man. Damn. I would like to have gotten my hands on it. Stupid Edgar. Right, so did we leave now? I guess we're done here? I guess so. I kind of expected a little bit more of a glorious... Meeting. I don't know. I guess I don't know what I was expecting. It's good to have Edgar back, though. That guy's pretty badass. I guess we just leave. All right, go down and around here. Are the soldiers all still dying and all that crap? Nope. Looks like we fixed it. I think we can leave South Figaro now, and actually probably head t towards a. Uh, Narsh, Narshi, which is probably where our next des destination, if I had to guess, is Narsh. We'll get back upstairs, find out what's going on really quick. There you go. Oh, the engine's working again. Next stop, the surface. That's what I thought. There we go. South Figaro is restored. This really has like an ocarina of time feel to it all. With the entire world fell into crap and then you woke up a year later and you gotta fix it all up. Well, anyways, that's just a little tidbit. As always, if there's a game you want me to play, tweet at me at today. We're gonna call it here, guys, and we'll pick it up next time. And we'll probably be heading into um, Narsh, if I had to guess. So we will see you next time.